what has become of that ancient friendship? That's from the Rig Veda. Have we forgotten how beloved we are? The genius clasping our soul in love's clamor? How mired I become chasing chores, days full of gnashing. What's become of my measly, mired, spotted self, lost in a maze of data, of disclosures, of usernames and passwords? Who am I, deaf to the word once blown into my dust, a word laden with water and fire, branding me with the truth, conjured in each thing, Life sprouting and teeming from the earth tells me this is so. The yellow blossom of a cactus, stars blazing, owls murmuring, tells me this is so. Even death, my soul freed from its clay shade, tells me this is so. My genius cultivating me in the squeeze box of my soul tells me this is so. Friendships born, thoughts skipping and bouncing back and forth, verse crafting, tells me this is so. Prayers spilling from desperate hearts and chapped mouths for a little bit of happiness, tells me this is so. The thousandfold forgiving, sworn, tells me this is so. I stand chaparraled on Malibu hills. Mid-afternoon silence soaks into my bones. The raven's morning stutter, creaking and scraping the air, gone. So too the crows rasp, only the brief rustle of tall grass a tower of blades jostling, whispering amongst themselves. Now the air, the earth, the animals settle at rest. At home, a busy morning, sorting and tossing on poet patrol, scavenging verse from the New York Times, as if from the edge of the moon, scouring words, with a small half cry, the cactus flower opens. I clench meaning. Birds chatter, hawks circle, scream, sway on drafts. Datura perfumes dawn with earth sweet chemistry. Bee and beetle on the move, sucking nectar, climbing stems, the rites of living. Late afternoon, I lay my bones on the patio for sun sleep. Through eyes half-lidded, the air swarms, alive, sparkling, a shower of radiance dancing me away. I was besotted as your hands traced me into another dimension where every digit and thumping organ of me was thoroughly welcomed, if le it left no quarter for shame or hesitation. Those were remnants of a doubted life. In the eternity of before, energy swirled, undetermined, until light shafted into the swirling, a promise tunneling through rock, water, and air Earth began dreaming, clothing herself, mapped with light, a fecund verse insinuated into every tense. Spontaneously love burst through my chosen, imposed, inherited, made-up fictions. Rewired by love to its cause, I felt the cord of elation shimmied with happiness my whole body flowering. I knew then a verdict had blessed the earth, at once command and promise, love. I knew then, with the gods jumping in every cell, 
love was the fullest and the only way to repair myself. It felt so right to be so sure, as if all the armor I had worn to protect myself, to defend myself, to identify myself, melted away. Love's splendid sobriety, binding all agents to its cause. Love, the balm, the resolver, the tide carrying me, guiding me, washing the world anew to be so blossoming, to be so loved, to be fearless in the dance. Caught in mind drifts, ancient constellations emerge from light-toiled waters of my being. How the body wants expression, the exultation of knowing. Wait, wait for me, I'm coming, dripping from dawn's baptism in ocean's briny swells. Feet slap the sand. I run into myself lap myself. I've left so much of me, wearing one face after another. Hurry, hurry. I'm coming, gathering up every forgotten scrap, each piece plugging me, patching me, legs pumping. I'm coming. The exultation of remembering, stricken thoughtless, curled on the lip of warm dunes. One grain falls, and another down the slip face of memory. All of this, what was it but wooing me onto the dance floor? With thanks to Alberto Rios. I've heard breatharians don't eat solid food, only breathe, which saves a godly amount of time. Breatharians must be at peace with themselves, which requires fewer calories. I need to eat. Worry, frustration, and planning use lots of energy. My effort has not yet become effortless. I trust my pencil. It never needs updating. My thoughts scribble on. By the way, I don't like corners, squared by straight lines. How am I supposed to clean them? My fingers are rounded. Dirt in those corners escapes attempts to dislodge. I use a screwdriver to push a wet rag into the corner, finally. But what I really want to say is, I'm reading the New York Times for kids Despite the editor's note, this section should not be read by grown-ups. How else would I discover what the sea slug knows, who decapitates herself to grow a new body? The suspicion being parasites have infected their bodies, so they lose them, their bodies. Within three weeks, the head regenerates a whole new body, which brings me to another thought. Wouldn't it be useful if the Senate could decapitate its naysayers and parasites and grow a more robust body, ready to legislate for the good of the people? I say cease love for president.